case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Vermont Supreme Court faced an intriguing case in 1989, which explored whether someone could be held responsible for an accident if they knowingly provided money or sold a vehicle to an incompetent driver. In essence, it probed the concept of negligent entrustment when liability exists not only for the reckless driver, but also for the person who enabled their driving through financial means or sale of a car. In this case, Mark Vince, who was injured in a car accident, sued both Luella Wilson, who funded the driver, a person with no driver's license and history of substance abuse, and Ace Auto Sales Inc., along with its president, Gary Gardner. The plaintiff made a case for extending the premise of negligent entrustment to those who enable an unqualified driver's access to a vehicle. In their decision-making, the court took into account previous case laws and the provisions stipulated in the restatement of torts, highlighting the defendant's knowledge of the driver's incompetency as a deciding factor. The court arrived at the conclusion that the trial court had erred in swiftly directing verdicts favoring Ace and Gardner, but simultaneously upheld the judgment against Wilson, substantiating the plaintiff's argument of negligent entrustment. The case got another lease of life when the court remanded the case for additional proceedings, permitting parties to address burgeoning disputes. The jury was presented with Wilson's liability with two theories by the trial judge. Although Wilson voiced concerns about the case's submission under a particular statute, the court dismissed her claim. As no error surfaced in the application of the concept of negligent entrustment, the court affirmed its previous judgment unless the defendant could prove an error across all theories of liability. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.